This is Good Taste Brecky on Juice 107.3. Ellerina and Jody here with you this morning. Now with over two decades in the entertainment industry, Jodes, our next guest is definitely no stranger to our TVs, radios and music playlists. She has had heaps of number one singles, won multiple awards, including nine ARIA Music Awards, has sold over 8 million albums globally, and now has released a brand new album and her first ever book, both called Bridge Over Troubled Dreams. She's also preparing for her all new Bridge Over Troubled Dreams tour. And of course, preparing to chat to us right now. It is none other than the beautiful Delta Goodrum. Good morning. Hi. Hey. Good morning. Oh, thank you so much for chatting to us this morning. It's such a pleasure having you on. Oh, the pleasure is mine. Thank you so much for talking to me. Oh, no worries. It's such an exciting time for you. You've released a new album, your first ever book, new tour dates, all of which are named Bridge Over Troubled Dreams. And I was like, there's three things. There's something missing, though. And I was like, do you know what it is? It's a dance. So I have made up a dance for you, Delta. Beautiful. For Um, which one have you done it for? Uh, so it's so you can say this is the bridge over troubled dreams dance as well. You can put this on all through your concerts. You can do this. So it goes like this. Yep. <clears throat> Wait for it. Yep. Bridge, bridge over, over troubled, troubled dreams. dreams. Oh, I like that. That's very yeah. good. <laughs> bridge, over, bridge over troubled dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Do it everywhere now. Make a new I TikTok. love that. <laughs> It's, um, you know what, it's the new thing is getting everybody to do a dance. I, I was doing these listening sessions for the album this week and um, we had done these little, uh, uh, this dance in the billionaire video. And so everybody, I was like, you know it. And it's like, of course, you realize that the, that people can um, do all these amazing videos that they create and get creative online. So yes, that's the next one. I that's the next one. Yep, let's do it. Well, that's good because Delta, it actually took her a week to figure out those four moves. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It's a tough one. I like that you've chosen like a bit more of the ballad too. You've got the bridge of the troubled dreams. There you go. See. With the the music rather than... um, (laughs) We've got this one on the power when we you put your, both your hands up. You know, we've got the power. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so put your <laughs> hands up and then we got the power. Ooh. Ooh. Everybody oh, else. Love it. Yeah. So, so actually, what what we're brainstorming and what I'm picking up this morning is that every song and an album that Bridge Over Children's Dance is actually has to have a symbolic dance reference for it. On it. I'm writing yes. that down. That is, yeah. that is a part of this. <laughs> You're welcome. We're just here to help you, really. <laughs> I know. I love the brainstorm session. Uh, well, you know what, Delta? You're a singer, songwriter, actress, philanthropist, now a dancer. Is there <laughs> really anything that you can't do? There's plenty of things I can't do. I just choose not to highlight them. Um, <laughs> in good news, I continue to highlight the things that I know. Um, I, uh, yeah, this this whole, uh, I can definitely not cook. I can definitely not do many, many things. But writing a song, producing a song or coming up with something in the arts is, is really a part of my being. So I enjoy that immensely. The computer I've actually got you on is is on a stack of books because, <laughs> <laughs> because otherwise the desk is a bit low. So. <laughs> well, you're also an inventor now as well. So I'm an inventor. <laughs> you know, I a couple of books. They're great for a computer stack. Right. (laughs) Well, um, speaking of your book, uh, you have released your first ever book, which is super exciting. Can you give us a bit of an insight? I know um, that it goes into the backstory of um, the songs that you've written for the album. Can you give us a bit of a sneak peek of what we can expect in the book? Yeah, for sure. Um, I always loved the album booklet that I would get with a CD. I always loved finding who produced it, who wrote it, um, why did, who were they thanking, who are these? I loved the sort of mystique of the extra photos you used to get. And so I thought whilst we're in a world where we can curate our own worlds and our own listening, what we want to hear at all times, I thought that it would be really special to make an album booklet that was became a book on the stories of all this record. So um, you can basically dive deeper into why these were written because whilst when you're writing a song, you want a succinct three minute song that's sing along and an easy core truth. Um, I think that branching out into the extra layers is, is really, is really something um, 
more tactile that you can take home. There's lessons learned and lots of photos that you haven't seen before. So it's, it's really been a beautiful project to work on. Yeah, I can imagine because you've, um, you've actually gone through quite a lot in, um, in your life. And you, I think coming out of a lot of the things that you have come out of, you're such an inspiring human. Um, how have you overcome some of those hardships? Yeah, I definitely go into it a bit more on this record. I, I challenged myself to be a little bit more literal about these events because I found that the last couple of albums, I started to try to protect myself metaphorically and um, kind of speak about moments where I know what I'm saying, but maybe it's a bit more abstract. This one, I was like, right, I'm going to, I kept rewriting verses so it could be a little bit more forward in the kind of trains of thought, I guess. And um and I think just the idea of, um, you know, having that positivity and believing there's a reason you're going through it and what will you make of the reason you've gone through it. And um, I know that everybody goes through so much. We've all got our stories. You know, right. everyone's story has got their um, relatable uh, challenges. And so it's just, it's all, it's all about uh, owning the story was this whole kind of record and book. Yeah, well, touching on those hardships, you did battle cancer um, and you are now uh, an ambassador for the Starlight Children's Foundation. So I did read that you go into the hospitals regularly. How are those kids when Delta Goodrum just suddenly shows up, you're at their little hospital bed and you're like, hey, guys, it's Delta. Do they absolutely lose it? Well, we had tradition of going on Christmas Eve, like going in oh. and seeing the fans. And because, um, yeah. you know, when that's going on, it's really hard when you're going through a, a rough time and you're, you know, you're a kid and you're in hospital. Um, but uh, last year we couldn't because of COVID, but um, a couple of years before that. And I, uh, I, I love seeing, I feel, you know, what a gift for my, what a gift to do uh, music and then to be able to brighten someone's day. That's like, right. that's, that's, that's a real gift seeing their faces and different, um, but also just connecting and talking about like what they're going through is, is there's no wall between us when you've gone through challenges yourself. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's such a beautiful thing. And you do have your Bridge Over Troubled Dreams tour, which is uh, starting uh, later on this year, which is super exciting. And I believe $1 from every ticket sold is going to your I Delta Bloom Foundation. Foundation. Yes. That's yes. So cool. See, I'm- you're all helping me by going to the tour. You're contributing to making a difference. Yes. So everyone needs to get amongst it. Um, But speaking of your tour, you are coming to the Gold Coast. You'll be at the um, the Gold Coast Convention Centre on the 2nd of October. And I think that for that particular show, you need to introduce one more instrument to your band. Right. Okay. Besides the dance as well. We've got well, the dance covered too. Yes. No, look, <laughs> I've got you covered in all areas, Delta. Don't you worry. I can see so that. I've got this little uh, bad boy here. Now, it is a kazoo. A I'm going to play you. Yes, well, we can call it that too. I'm <laughs> going to play you one of your songs on this, and you have to guess what it is. And it is my favorite song. So if you don't guess it, I don't, I don't, I don't know that we can go on. But <laughs> he can do this. I will, I will try. Are you ready? Ready. to work on from uh, both of your ideas here the yes kazoo and a um and the dads uh, if there's anything else please let me know uh, <laughs> <laughs> i'll get in touch but uh look thank you so much for chatting to us this morning we know you've got 12 bazillion interviews to do today so we appreciate the time but we've loved chatting to you and we're actually going to play one of your latest singles right now you have said that it is one of your favorite songs off the new album bridge over troubled dreams and funnily enough it's one of ours as well so we're going to play the power for you right now Woo!
Ooh. Thank you, my girls. Thanks, Ellie. Thanks, Jody. No problem. <laughs> Enjoy ya. everything. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.